Hi Ben, thanks for coming back. Thank you for having me. It's good to see us. So we're back here for our fifth and final lesson of the series, our on-course playing lesson. Where we're going to take all the stuff that we've worked on on the range, bring it out here, and how it applies to our game management skills and the way you play a golf course. So uh, we're going to start out here on the 13th hole today, uh, a little par 3, and then we'll, we'll grass and we'll do a par 5 and maybe a par 4. We'll see what we get into. So I get you some different positions. I'm looking forward to it. Get a number here and start it up. Yes, sir. Hi Ben, so we got 180. There's a little bit too much of a swing, you know? Yeah. So it's tough. Absolutely. You really got to get that feel out of the bunkers. Yeah, I think that was good. The bunkers are not so uh, fluffy right now, so yeah, I need to swing it steeper. All right, Ben, so now we're up here on the green, uh, hitting our little putt here, trying to save that par after getting out of the bunker. Right. And so, you know, out here on these greens here, they're pretty quick. And so I really like to uh, feel that good tempo and pace on our putting stroke. And so really, I'd like you to try to embrace what we talked about earlier about in our mental game, in our head. Having that looking at the ball one, right. or looking at the hole one, two at the ball, and three, and hitting, three the yep. hitting the stroke when you hit the ball. Yep. And that's going to help get a nice, smooth, firm pace. Especially on these greens, if you get a little quick ever, it's going to be really slippery and the ball will get away from you pretty easily. So here it looks like we might have a little bit of uh, left to right, or maybe, maybe just inside left edge. But, so let's see that and do the one, two, and three. Play the ball forward in my stance? Just a little bit, yep, like we just talked about previously. Keeping those hands directly below the shoulders. So that was a perfect smooth putting stroke. And, oh, almost had it. it looks like so it's center cut. Hi, right, Ben. So we're on to the next hole here. We're 16th. It's par 5 here. Relatively short. You know, with your distance off the tee, I think we can get there in two, especially with the wind being downhill, downwind with us today. Um, with this hole, I'd like to really think about um, you know, how we like to play shots where, you know, because you have the skill set to play a draw or play a fade, whatever you really want to kind of set up right. for that. So what do you think would be best suited for this hole? Probably a fade. Yeah, probably a fade. We got you know, water. We got water. water. Yeah, water a lot. Keep it away from there, and, and with the wind, that fade will be nice. It'll help use the wind to gain a little bit more distance. Right. So when you set up this one, I like to try to think that fade swing here, and we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can hit this green in two. Look at that perfect little fade right down the center. We're going to be well up there. Great shot to go on this one, too. Ben, so we're only 177 yards here on this par 5. Great opportunity to go forward in two. Wind down at our back. Um, what do you think you'd play from this distance? Um, well, it seems like we have a bunker. It's kind of short. Yep. So I probably will aim a little bit more left left center of the green. I like that. It'll kind of feed to it. Yep, exactly. So how far do we 
177 wind at our back. Probably playing 165-ish. Yeah. So. Yeah, a little bit more than 165, so. I'll probably take an 8 iron. Okay, I like it. Grab it here and we'll set up with this one. You know that wind's gonna help us. I like to what you're saying. If we aim a little bit left of the hole here, wind might help bring it back and it'll keep us way out of that bunker and give us a great shot for an eagle. Just what I wanted to do. Okay, man, so now we're up here on the green. You know, you hit, just hit a great shot, and we've got a chance to make an eagle here on this par five. Right. Um, this putt here, we can kind of see it's play a little downhill. Right. So, you know, this is really where your um, ability to know your game and know where you're at in your game can come into play. You know, if you're out there in a golf match and you really need this eagle to make that putt, to make a better score, you might, you know, go a little bit more aggressive. But sometimes it's better to just lag it up there. Right. And maybe, especially with these fast greens, you might play as a lag putt, but it's still gonna roll up there. So I'd say we can imagine that the hole's about two and a half feet, three feet closer to us than it actually is. Right. And play to like a circle area, somewhere that we can make a guaranteed birdie up there. Right. And whoever knows, sometimes they may go in. Yep. A little left or right? Yep, I like that line you have there. And it gives you something to think about while you're putting instead of just thinking, oh, I need to get this ball into the hole. Right. So I like right. to see I, that. I do like that a lot. Perfect. Hi, right, Ben. So thanks again for coming out for our final lesson of our five series lessons. I really hope that you can take some of the stuff that we've covered over this past couple weeks and use that in your own golf game and uh, really start getting some better scores and seeing some more performance. Uh, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much for having me. Please. Hopefully there's been some good stuff. And so now, you know, we've been out here on the golf course today. Uh, talking a lot about shots and we're here on our 18th hole. So let's just play this one straight out We don't need to talk about too much. I know you've got all your uh, Resources that you need so we'll just play it and see if we can make a birdie. Let's do it. 